Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this video, we shall discuss few questions based on chapter 1 of class 8, rational numbers. So the concepts and a different set of questions I have already discussed in few videos. So you can get those videos by clicking on the i button. Okay, now let's get started. So the first question is you have to convert these into rational form. Okay, so how do you convert is very easy. So you will write the number 843 as it is okay divided by 1 along with the number of zeros as many zeros as the decimal places okay so how many decimal places are there here it is 1 2 3 okay so how many zeros you will write 1 2 3 okay this is simple way okay now here the second question is also same you have to convert it into rational form okay so write the number as it is 2 0 0 0 8 9 3 divided by 1 along with the number of zeros as many zeros as the decimal places how many decimal places are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so how many zeros you will write 6 zeros you will write clear now in this question you have to convert this into rational form okay you can see that it is non-terminating repeating decimal okay the previous two problems which we did were terminating okay but this is non-terminating so let us see how we can do it so you take this as x let x equal to 0 0.89 bar okay so x is equal to now this you have a bar on 89 which means 89 is repeating okay you have a bar on 89 which means 89 is repeating okay so let this be equation 1 clear now what is the periodicity do you remember so periodicity is nothing but how many digits are repeating now you can see here how many digits are repeating two digits are repeating always okay so periodicity is two okay so you will multiply by what since the periodicity is two you will multiply equation one by hundred okay now if the periodicity is five you will multiply the given equation with 1 along with 5 zeros. Okay. If the periodicity is 3, you will multiply this equation 1 along with 3 zeros. Okay. The number of zeros depends on the periodicity. If periodicity is 1, you will multiply 1 along with only 1 zero. Clear? So, it depends on the periodicity, you will write the number of zeros. Okay. 1 along with the number of zeros. Since here the periodicity is 2, you are writing 1 along with 2 zeros. Okay. That means you are multiplying by 100. Okay. So, multiplying equation 1 by 100, what do you get? x is nothing but 100x equal to. Now, multiplying this by 100, this decimal place moves 2 places to write. Why 2 places? Because you have 2 zeros in 100. Okay. So, it is nothing but 89 point. 8, 9, 8, 9 and so on. Okay. Let this be equation 2. Okay. Now I want to subtract equation 1 and 2. Clear? So it is nothing but 100x is equal to 89 point 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9 and so on. Okay. And x is equal to. Now be careful. Here you have a decimal point. Write it exactly below it okay and you have a zero before the decimal point and eight nine eight nine after the decimal point okay write it in this way so that you don't have any confusion some children they start from here and the answer will be wrong okay so be careful when you are writing okay now 100 minus x is 99 x is equal to now this is 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay 9 minus 9 8 minus 8 everything becomes 0 you have a point now 9 minus 0 is 9 and this is 8 okay so x is equal to 89.000 is nothing but 89 okay so this 99 i'll bring it to the other side so it becomes by 99 okay so x is nothing but 89 by 99 so x is what x is 0 0.89 bar so this is 89 by 99 clear now the next bit is 14.765 bar okay this is also non-terminating but it is non-terminating mixed recurring okay here you can see 7 is not repeating there is no bar on 7 okay so 7 is not repeating but 6 5 is repeating so it is mixed you have something which is not repeating and something which is repeating so it is mixed recurring decimal okay so now here also let us consider this as x clear so this is x equal to 14.765 bar okay so expanding x equal to 14.765665 and so on let this be equation one clear now what is the periodicity periodicity of this is what 
so you can see how many digits are repeating two digits are repeating okay so periodicity is two so since periodicity is two you will multiply by what you will multiply equation one by one along with how many zeros periodicity is two so you will multiply one along with two zeros so that means you will multiply with hundred okay so it is hundred x is equal to four one four this is seven six point five six five six and so on okay here you can see this most two places okay since you are multiplying by hundred okay now this is equation two now you will subtract equation one and two okay so it is nothing but hundred x equal to one four seven six point five six five six five six and so on okay and equation one is x is equal to here also firstly write the decimal before decimal you have four one after decimal you have seven six five six five six and so on are you getting my point why am i doing this so that they, you don't confuse and you don't make a mistake so 100 minus x is 99 x is equal to 6 minus 6 is 0 5 minus 5 0 6 minus 6 0 5 minus 5 0 6 minus 6 is 0 5 minus 7 you cannot subtract 7 from 5 so you will borrow okay so this is 8 point now 5 minus 4 is 1 7 minus 1 is 6 4 1 okay so 99 x is equal to 1461.8 okay so let me write it here so what is the value of x x is equal to 1461.8 divided by 99 okay but here you can see in the numerator still you have a decimal point okay so it is 1461.8 now you have already learnt how to convert this into rational form it is nothing but 1461.8 divided by 1 along with the number of decimal places along with the zero as many zeros as the number of decimal places here you have one decimal place so how many zeros you will write only one zero okay so let us substitute this here so 1461.8 is nothing but this so 14618 by 10 into you have a 99 here okay so this is nothing but 14618 by 990 so this is how you convert a non-terminating mixed recurring decimal into rational form so moving on to our next question you have a rectangular park with length 15 2 by 3 meters and with breadth 6 1 by 5 meters okay so you have to find the area of the rectangular park so area of rectangular park is nothing but can you tell me the formula area of rectangle is nothing but length into breadth okay so here given what is the length length is nothing but they are saying that it is 15 2 by 3 meters long okay so it is 15 2 by 3 meter okay so let us convert it into improper fraction so how will you do it so it is 15 into 3 okay so it is 15 into 3 45 45 plus 2 okay so it is nothing but 47 by 3 meters okay now breadth what is the breadth breadth is nothing but this width it is 6 1 by 5 meters okay so here also it is 6 into 5 and 6 into 5 is 30 30 plus 1 is 31 so it is 31 by 5 meters okay so area is nothing but l into b here l is 47 by 3 into b is 31 by 5 okay you cannot simplify it you cannot reduce it anywhere there are no common factors so you will multiply so 47 into 31 is what 47 into 31 so it is 7 4 3 is a 21 12 14 so it is 1 4 5 7 1 4 5 7 divided by 3 5 is a 15 now area you always write in meter square okay square meters so it is 1 4 5 7 by 15 meter square you can also convert it into mixed fraction or you can leave it here so moving on to the next question the cost of 8 3 by 4 meters cloth is 12 2 by 3 okay so you have to find cost per meter okay so firstly let us convert this into improper fraction so this is 8 4 is 32 plus 3 is 37 by 4 meters okay and here it is 12 3 is 36 plus 2 is 38 by 3 rupees 
okay so we have written length of the cloth is 37 by 4 meters and cost of this length of cloth is 38 by 3 rupees okay so now you want cost per meter okay so for 37 by 4 meters this is meters what is the cost in rupees it is 38 by 3 okay now you want the cost for how much for 1 meter you want for 1 meter you want so simple cross multiplication so it is 38 by 3 into 1 divided by these two big multiplies and this goes to the denominator 37 by 4 okay so simple it is 38 by 3 in divided by 37 by 4 yes so it is nothing but 38 by 3 you know division of fractions so this becomes reciprocal okay so into 4 by 37 okay so here also you find no common factors so you have to just multiply so 4 8 is 32 4 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15 okay and 3 7 is 21 3 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 okay so it is 1 5 2 divided by 1 1 1 what is this it is cost per meter so it should be in rupees so if you want you can also convert it into decimal form how so you'll divide 152 by 1 1 1 so it is 1 is 1 1 1 so subtracting you have 1 4 okay taking a decimal point you can write a 0 here so it is 3 is 3 3 3 yes so subtracting in this way you will get a decimal number if you want you can convert it into decimal number also moving on to our next question with which number you have to divide minus 33 by 16 to get minus 11 by 4 okay that means you i have written in this form in the statement form okay with which number minus 33 by 16 be divided to get minus 11 by 4 okay that number i have taken it as x clear so this is nothing but minus 33 by 16 divided by x is equal to minus 11 by 4 yes now x i'll send it to the other side so it is minus 33 by 16 now x is in division now if it goes to the other side it becomes multiplication so it is into x okay so now i want the value of x so keeping x on this side it is minus 33 by 16 now this minus 11 by 4 i'll bring it here to this side so it becomes reciprocal it is 4 by 11 minus 4 by minus minus 4 by 11 or 4 by minus 11 okay so 11 ones are 11 threes are 4 ones are 4 fours are okay so it is minus 3 by minus 4 and minus minus gets cancelled so x is 3 by 4 so okay so x is equal to 3 by 4 so minus 33 by 16 should be divided with 3 by 4 to get minus 11 by 4 let us check here cross check here so minus 33 by 16 divided by 3 by 4 okay x is 3 by 4 now this is nothing but minus 33 by 16 now division becomes multiplication and this reciprocal so it is 4 by 3 so 3 ones are 3 11 are 4 ones are 4 fours are so it is minus 11 by 4 did you get this so whatever you did is correct next question is you have to check if the multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9 is minus 1 1 by 8 or not okay is it minus 1 1 by 8 or not is the same or not okay so let us write the multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9 it is nothing but 9 by 8 okay multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9 is 9 by 8 what is multiplicative inverse now 8 by 9 into 9 by 8 you should get 1 okay so this 9 by 8 will be called as multiplicative inverse okay now let us divide this 9 by 8 okay now it is 8 ones are 8 and the remainder is 1 clear so this is nothing but 1 1 by 8 writing it into mixed fraction it is 1 1 by 8 but the question is is it minus 1 1 by 8 so it is not minus 1 1 by 8 it is 1 1 by 8 okay so multiplicative inverse of 8 by 9 is 1 1 by 8 or 9 by 8 but it is not minus 1 1 by 8 that's all for this session i'll meet you with a new set of questions in the next session till then like this video share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching